So bike changes, weather changes, um, and a real rider for once on the set with us, uh, Jens Voigt. Always happy to help out. Uh, how was it out there, Jens? For me, it was okay because my job today was stay within the time limit, not wasting too much energy. My job starts tomorrow at kilometer zero again. Today, it was just for me transport from A to B. We have enough guys to go flat out today. So my job was save energy, stay in the time limit, don't crash. Yeah. How, well, talking of not crashing, how dangerous is that descent coming off for the first summit for the guys who are going full gas? It's a pretty tricky one, yes. Uh, we were lucky enough to um, have a training camp in the Alps to see the stages three or four weeks uh, before the tour. And already there we decided uh, don't start with a GT bike. It's straight uphill, tricky, fast downhill. Um, and the cornering on a normal road bike is just so much better. So I believe the best setup today is the road bike with a special handlebar. OK, because it, it sounds like Team Sky are going to go road bike with a special handlebar to the top of the second summit and then time trial bike for speed down the, uh, down the fast descent of the second summit. What do you think? Well, it's still a tricky business because there's only eight kilometers left or nine. So in theory, you might gain 25, 30 seconds with the faster bike. But it, within the rules, the bike you want to change has to come off the roof. So it's not that you can have somebody standing on the side of the road and have a quick change. So you lose 20 seconds to do all that changing part. So it's a risky business. Um, if it works out ideally, you might win 5 to 10 seconds, but... It's probably too risky. Yes. Yeah, probably yeah. too much risk, really. And yeah. when, you, when you've got... When you have the, a lead and you have got a buffer, I think it's just too much of a risk to change. Yeah. And how, how's the race? Going for you, Jens. You had uh, your man Bacalance uh, gave you a little bit of early success in the race. Obviously, uh, your leader Andy Schleck's not going uh, as strongly as he hoped, although he was always sort of a, a maverick wildcard coming into this race, still coming back from his injury. Well, you, do you talk like Sherlock Holmes? Hey, you, your leader Andy Schleck obviously is not going as well. Well, that was okay, pretty, well, pretty sharp minded to okay. work that out. But, um, well, serious, um, yes, it was uh, any sort of like was a joker, you know, it yeah, could yeah. turn out in the very last moment he just hits the right form in the right moment, or maybe not. So I think he's, or I'm sure he's still optimistic, like for next few stages to like show his face a little bit, you know. Um, but yes, we were really, really relieved with that early win and yellow jersey from Bacalans because yeah. that saved yeah. our two. The takes the pressure off, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So now we have the Team GC, uh, we keep an eye on that. Uh, that would be nice to have, you know, keep it until Paris. Lots of work to and, do for that. And how about you, 41 years old, still getting in the brakes, still driving doing? things along? Why are you still here? <laughs> well, what can I say, man? Somebody got to, you know... <laughs> got a family to feed. Yeah, exactly. Got a family to feed. Yeah, somebody got to put the steaks in the fridge. Um, so, no, I'm still enjoyed. I still enjoy yeah. being with the boys. And I believe it also keeps me young to be around with the young kids, with the young boys. It keeps me young and fit, I hope. Yeah, yeah. And, and last year you were talking about one more year. Are you still thinking about one more year or is this it? I would be still crazy enough to try one more year. Yeah. Maybe no more Tour de France because it is actually a very, very hard race. Um, but yeah, maybe I try one more year, you know, do like the, the nice races, Australia, California, Tour of Britain, yeah. all the good ones. Yeah, yeah. OK. And then run for president of the UCI and uh, mayor of the universe yes. in general. Okay. The ever popular uh, Jens Voigt, uh, let's move on. Uh, he's in with a time of 58.20, by the way, um, which is not going to win today's stage, but it's a pretty good time. 